What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be discussing the brand new update to eFootball 2025 which will be coming with v4.1 and it is coming this Thursday the 10th of October, right? Now, I want to talk about a couple of bits, a couple of bits and pieces, right? And talk about a couple of things that I definitely need fixed and a couple of bits of information as well, right? So we did get two surveys. The first survey that was available to us to fill out. I think Konami are, I think they know, lads, that we need a gameplay refresh and we need a kind of content refresh. And I think that with the gameplay, I do feel like that the survey, it doesn't go deep enough. Like there isn't enough nuance in the questions. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. But I also think that we will get changes quite soon. And the two additions that they've added, the physicality and the balance, plus the finesse dribbling, I think they've improved the gameplay marginally, but there are still a lot of issues, right? Now, this is what I'm talking about with the survey, right? There's a lot of questions in it that you can kind of answer both ways if you think about it in a different way than with how you play. Some people like the smart assist because it simplifies the tricks that aren't able to do tricks. Some people don't like it because it messes up their dribbling, the movement, and all that. I definitely am not on board with the smart assist, but I can see what they're trying to do with it for people that are very much pick up and play. This kind of leads in as well to kind of like the contract situation or the players situation. They've got away with contracts. What I mean is that like now when you're signing players, I feel like the buzz has kind of gone from signing players. You know, Cannavaro obviously was a beast, but when you've got every single player in the squad that's going to be 104 overall, like Mbappe, Ronaldinho, Messi 106, Cannavaro 106, I just feel like that those overalls and those shine, uh, the shine off the cards are like, oh my God, it's 106 Cannavaro. You just know that they're going to be bringing out bigger versions of cards down the line. It's the same with these guys here. I mean, I just don't think Manu should be 100 overall or Kyle Walker should be 100 plus overall. Also, they will be trying to add the new match pass, or not trying to add the new match pass, they will be adding a new match pass, they've tried to kind of mix this up a little bit as well, but it is always tied to the eFootball phase in the league, right, so it's going to be over on the 10th as well, and again, this ties in with the events, I feel like these need a refresh as well. Honestly, lads, we could do a 20-25 minute video, we do usually cover a lot of this stuff in the live stream, we just need more things to do. I mean, you put an hour into the events, you're pretty much finished the events. And a lot of people are just playing the events and going off because they don't want to put rank because there's no rewards in rank. And we'll talk about that towards the end of the video, right? But onto gameplay itself, one thing I've noticed, right, is that the flight of the ball has seemed to slow down a lot. Now, this is a small issue, but I've been noticing it a lot when I've been spreading the ball out wide. And it seems to have only crept in in the last week or two. Now, let me know what you guys think, right? You can see the flight of the ball, right? When it leaves the foot, it just kind of hangs up a little bit longer, giving the defenders a chance to actually get back into position. You'll see here is another one. You can even see that if I lose that, I'm kind of back with my center half there or, or right card. But in saying that, I think that they have improved the true balls. Uh, I think that I hit a couple of these passes here. And it's a beautiful pass from Rijkaard, who doesn't have any great passing ability the way we've even built or any passing skills. And I also think as well, credit to him for adding the, the physicality, right? You can just see here, Hoynes, literally just such a beast, brilliant balance, brilliant physical contact. And that's with the new kind of stuff that they've done. However, there are still a lot of issues with this kind of clumsiness at the back, right? And also with this, the referee logic is still... It's just stupid, man, sometimes. Like, I absolutely cream him twice there. And instead of getting a free and pulling it back, he gets he gets called. My opponent gets called for an offside. Like, it's just hilarious, you know what I mean? Instead of calling it back and probably two yellow cards, potentially a red. Also, there is still no reward for manual defending, lads. You will see here two examples. This is me manually defending there. We nearly concede a goal where my players literally, the AI runs into my player. Whereas this guy is auto-defending, pressing a button, and his AI is going to shove the other player out of the way, Rudiger onto the ground, but he still wins the ball. And you will see here that there is literally no risk and all reward for defending auto. You will see again in the same match or in a similar match, this guy is literally super glued his, his finger onto, you know, teammate press. And there's no risk for it. Yes, I'm still after scoring two goals. We're ripping him apart with the dribbling. But it doesn't really matter because the AI is so horny and so effective that these guys will get away with getting results like this. And again, I'm not talking about slagging anybody's skill level. I'm not talking about anything like this. It's up to the, you know, Konami to actually... I suppose put in some sort of skill gap in this instead of just pressing a button and knowing that you can defend valiantly for 80, 90 minutes, right? Again, you will see a situation here, right? That it's still very difficult when the AI is turned up. It's very, very difficult to just score goals. You know what I mean? Where you have superhuman 
saves from the keeper are superhuman chances that just do not go in, right? And again, you always have to result in scoring this type of goal if you want to just close out the game. Bring it to the byline and sweat it across. And I hate playing like that, man. I hate playing like that. I would rather not score than do that unless I'm pushing rank. And speaking of rank, right, the biggest problem I think in the, at the moment, and we've already done this, right, we pushed rank a couple of weeks ago, I think it was one of our first streams of eFootball 2025. Every stream, I end up talking about this. Literally, boys, if you guys watch the streams regularly, every stream I end up talking about this and the issue with eFootball League at the moment, right? We're in Division 2, as you see here. Obviously, I missed about probably a week and a half because I was away and I was busy with work where we didn't stream, we didn't play. If I'm not streaming, I'm not playing. So I'm not, you know, pushing like offline or playing, you know, away from the stream. I do it every match live. But look at the phase rewards you're going to get, right? Now, if you're a newcomer and you've come over and you haven't really played eFootball before and you're trying to push rank and you're saying, surely I'm going to get some serious rewards for actually, you know, sweating my way to the top and beating really high rank squads. The rewards that you get, lads, are literally, it's, it's a joke. Like, it is a joke. You get more rewards for logging in, taking a penalty, and logging back out in 10 seconds than you do for actually winning, you know, 10, 15, 20 matches on the trot against, you know, guys that would literally sell their mother to get a pint against you. You know what I mean? Like, it's literally do or die every single match, you know? Um, and I just feel like that at the moment, this is the biggest problem that's holding back, I think, you know, eFootball from being really a serious contender for like committing a bit of time into, you know what I'm saying? Because at the moment in eFootball League, even the top, top guys that are pushing rank, like the top one, top two, whatever, I just feel like that the rewards, man, they're just like, you know, you get to division one, you get 20,000 GP and an XP trainer for 10,000. I mean, you can release a couple of players and you will get like, you know, three or 400,000 GP, free players that you've been given. Do you know, so I definitely feel that that's the big, big one, even away from gameplay. It's just give us something to sink our teeth into. I don't think a weekend league is the is is the solution either, because me personally, and I'm going to be very selfish here in this opinion, I wouldn't be able to play and commit to time on the weekends because my weekends are my time off. You know, I work Monday to Friday. We stream three days a week, Monday, uh, Monday Thursday and Friday. Um, you know, and like I want to chill out on a Saturday and a Sunday, you know, if I go away with the missus or if my friend's over or if I'm gone to something or an event or a gig or whatever it is, like I want to be ch able to chill out on the weekend and have the option to play during the week. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think that an eFootball like weekend league a la EAFC is, is going to be the, the option either. Let me know your ideas on what they could do. I've given a couple of ideas before, but I'm even getting sick of, of talking about it. So let me know what your thoughts are on it. And of course, we will be back doing what we do again on Monday. We'll be back. And uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting week, lads, I think. on Sorry, on Thursday. It's going to be an interesting week to see how the next seven days go when the new launch of the update comes in V4.1. What do you want to see changed? What do you think needs to change? And what has to change for you to keep playing? Let me know in the comments below and we'll feature the best ones in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you in a bit. Peace.